everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Drunken Sailors Brew and Barbecue. It's a beautiful autumn day here in the Berkshire Mountains, and I think it's about time we made some hard cider. You're going to love how easy this is to do. Simple, simple ingredients, simple process, quick turnaround. You're going to love it. So stick around, see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, typically what I do is I'll get my cider right off the press. This orchard happens to be right down the street, oh, maybe two, three miles down the way. Uh, I didn't have time to uh, hook up with the guy right when he was pressing, so I got to deal with opening up jugs. Usually I'll just have it right off the press and pour it in the bucket, but no big deal. The key is getting cider that does not have any preservatives in it. Preservatives will kill yeast. You need yeast to make hard cider, so that wouldn't be good. I'm going to add uh, two pounds of honey to this. So technically it's a sizer, not a cider, but you'll love it. Apple Blossom Honey, they just opened an apiary at that orchard a couple of years ago, and it's really, really good honey. The yeast I'm going to be using here, White Labs, it's a new uh, yeast that I'm using. Typically I use a cider yeast. This, I believe, is uh, more of a wine yeast, the Steinberg Geisenheim. We'll see how that turns out. i got a feeling it's, uh, it's going to be quite tasty. And then... Uh, We've got our fermenter. That's all we're gonna need. I might add some cinnamon later on, but eh, we'll just play that one by ear. So uh, stick around, be right back. Okay, you don't have to add honey to this and make it a sizer. You can just go with the apple cider and do everything the same. There's no changes at all. Other than if you do go with uh, some honey, I took uh, a half a gallon of the cider heated it up and added that two pounds of honey to it just to uh, you know dissolve it so we don't have a big goopy mess inside the fermenter. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start pouring away. Very complicated process. Yeah, right about four gallons. I'll tell you what. Um, we're going to take a gravity reading, add our yeast, we're going to be done. See what happens. Alright folks, what we're going to do before I add the yeast, is check our uh, gravity. Now cider, by itself, is going to be right around that 1050 mark. Uh, because I added the honey, I expect that to go up a little bit. And we are, whoops, if you could see that. Man, the focus is kind of tough, but uh, we're looking at uh, 10, 1058. So the cider is going to ferment right out. Uh, I've seen it go actually below one, so I'm going to be, well, this is going to be a good seven and a half percent, I guess, when it's all said and done. One thing I did forget to mention, here's our cider, looking good. Uh, I'm going to add the yeast here in just a sec. Make sure your cider and your yeast are at room temperature when you uh, go to pitch. So when I bought this cider, you know, it came out of the fridge, so I let it sit overnight so it got to room temperature, otherwise your, your yeast is going to go uh, dormant. So, all right, let's add some yeast, and then it's waiting time. Here we are, the final step, kind of, sort of, anyways. Here's our yeast. Two vials. Uh, for five gallons, you really only need one. I always like to overdo my yeast, just to ensure, you know, good fermentation. So there's that. They are in there, all those little guys. We're going to cap this up. Give it kind of a little, a little bit of a shake. There we go. Okay, I'm going to throw an airlock on that. In about two weeks, we'll be bottling this. Homemade hard cider coming your way. It'll change color too. It'll get uh, more uh, clear, uh, pale yellow. It's going to look real pretty. So, all right, that's it. That's all it takes to make hard cider. So, I'll come back in two weeks after this thing is uh, fermented out and we'll bottle it up. 
See you then. Okay, so it's time to taste test Drunken Sailor's hard cider. I've gone ahead and used the Belgian bottles, my new corker, uh, with the, the wraps and everything. I'm not sure how this is going to work uh, as far as unwrapping. I think I'm going to need the corkscrew for this because they went in kind of tight. But in any case, it's been several months. Uh, five, six months or so. About five months or so. We're looking at February. It's no snow and I have no jacket and it's in the Berkshire Mountains. I, I don't understand it. But it's a good thing I bought that SUV 14 years ago. In any case, let's open this thing up. See what we got. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, there we go. I don't think this is going to come off by hand. I'm going to need probably a cork screw. Alright, yeah. Let's make it easy. Actually, let's make it easy. the first time I've actually corked my own here. There we go. Aha. Smells good. Let's see how it pours. Come on in, Jess. See what we got here. Okay. Very effervescent. I did make it a point to almost overcarbonate this in a good way, though. You can see how clear that's come. It really uh, it clears right up. The the yeast. I don't know what it is, but it uh, you know compared to the cider that comes out of your jug, how how dark, almost brown that is. You can see how it clears right up. Uh, yellows almost. Look at the clarity on that. It's beautiful. Alright, what we've got, this is, okay, again, this is why I like doing, uh, why I like adding a little uh, honey to the cider, which technically, again, makes it a sizer, but you really get the, uh, there's a bit of a floral uh, undertone to it. In this case, it's all apple blossom honey that I've used. Right from the same orchard. You know what, let's go ahead and start drinking this, see what it tastes like. That's good. Surprisingly, not surprisingly, but very smooth. It's dry. Again, the finishing gravity ended below uh, one, which means uh, it's it's not sweet at all. It's very dry, but um, but not enough to really dry out your tongue. It's got a good effervescence. You get that high carbonation on the front end of the tongue. Mm. Again, floral characters. Uh, midway through in a dry uh, cleansing finish. It's actually quite refreshing and for 8.6% I'll tell you what, having something that's refreshing at 8.6% is, is quite nice. It's pleasant. So I highly recommend it. You can see how easy it is to make hard cider. Just uh, The key is no preservatives. Again, the uh, preservatives kill yeast. So Try it. I hope you like it. Can't argue with that. Look at that. Drunken Sailors Brewing Barbecue Hard Cider. Good to go. Hope you enjoy it. If you like it, like it. And come on back for the next one. We'll see you next time. Take care.